Here are the biggest changes of update 38.0. First, we have the Druid of the Storm gaining strong homing on its tornadoes. This will keep the NATOs running along the track to utilize their high pierce instead of just hitting a couple balloons. Next, we have a huge quality of life change with sniper farming. The elite sniper's ability will now also trigger all other supply drops, meaning you don't have to click every sniper's ability to drop them all. Onto bomb shooters, the top path is now able to push back any balloons they hit. This starts with the really big bombs upgrade and is extended through the balloon crush. Overall, this makes them much better at dealing with ceramics as nothing will get through unless they get pierce capped. And the balloon crush can now solo all the blimps in round 98 as long as you have something to pick up the super ceramics. Next, long range ranks gives even more attack range and is now very noticeable and helpful. This also affects the Glaive Lord's orbiting ranks, making them significantly larger. Onto the tax shooter, the tax zone got hit with a massive nerf, cutting its pierce down from four to two to make its cross paths more competitive. To not completely neuter this guy, Ninja Kiwi upped its attack speed increase from the tier 4 from 25% to 35%. As for the Maelstrom, it got a cool change as its cross paths now affect its ability. Cross pathing with even faster shooting increases the ability's pierce by 66%, whereas cross pathing with even more attacks increases its duration by 33% and changes the rotation direction to counterclockwise. Unfortunately, this means the 040 and 050 got worse, but the cross pathing upgrades are super cheap. Next, we have a huge huge nerf to one of the best towers in the game. Downdraft now blows back balloons 50% slower than before. This is offset a bit as it has twice the pierce it used to against normal balloons, but the same pierce against ceramics. Unfortunately, stalling super ceramics was the main reason why downdraft was so good, and now it'll blow them back less often. Back to cool changes, the bottom path dartling gunner got massive damage buffs to its laser shock cross path. This makes the cross pathing decision very competitive as laser shock now out DPS's faster barrel spin in many scenarios, plus that extra range and decreased buckshot spread is very nice for long range shooting. Next, we have the Magus Perfectus. The biggest complaint about this guy was how fast he drained his mana pool at high degrees as it was based off how many balloons were hit by his attacks. Luckily, this got reworked to a per attack basis, so now high degree wizard paragons won't deplete their mana pools instantly. This next one hurts me. Ninja Discipline only grants extra attack speed now as that extra range got moved over to Seeking Shuriken. This was definitely needed as Ninja Discipline was a crazy good upgrade for how cheap it was, but it still makes me sad. Luckily, Seeking Shuriken grants this range now, so 101 ninjas are the same as before. One interesting thing though is that 031 Shinobi ninjas are now the way to go, and if you're like me and like to pick up Caltrops on them, this is much better. And finally, we have the Perma Spike rework. In attempts to make it worse in rounds 80 plus, Ninja Kiwi is making it lay down Spike pulse 25% slower than before and cut its damage by 33%. Do not make this a massive nerf, its pierce was doubled and its start of round attack speed bonus now lasts 10 seconds instead of 2.5, with the hope being that you won't have to play super slow and stall every round to replenish the spike piles. But those were the biggest changes in update 38.0.